The homecoming celebrations continue tonight. It's Powder Puff Football Juniors versus Seniors. Hello, everybody. I'm Derek Steele alongside my partner, Dawson Wolf. Dawson, what can we expect tonight? So tonight, Powder Puff is back after a two-year absence due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and we are back. And, I mean, we haven't had a... We haven't seen a home of Powder Puff game since we were sophomores, Derek. And yeah, we are back right. here senior year. Both of these students, the, both of these teams have not seen or played in a Powder Puff contest. So this is a first time for not only the seniors, but for also the juniors. So the level of play is kind of at the same level tonight. One fun fact I want to bring up here right now. Juniors have not won since 2017. They won once again in 2013. We got a level playing field in here, folks. Seniors normally have a year of experience under their belt. They don't have that this year. As both teams, you mentioned it, Dawson, they're they're even right now. Yeah, so due to COVID last year, the, se the senior team would have played as juniors last year, but with all the hectic stuff going on, that did not happen. So they got going this week. So Coach Whitaker, the head coach of the seniors tonight, talked to us before for kickoff here and he was saying that you know these girls just picked up the game of football on Monday you know started to embrace it and started to learn plays and there's a total of over a hundred students on either team so yep. it's a pretty big roster so you know over 75 percent of the team might not play tonight but over the course of three days they try and nitpick those best players that fit and either offense, defense, or on special teams tonight. Both teams have taken the field at about midfield. We're minutes away from doing the coin flip as both coaches have come out at the midfield stripe. There's also Principal Stephen Hawley there. Something else to note, we have MHSA officials tonight. Usually, you know, it's Mr. Manzo, someone like that. Nope, tonight we got official MHSA officials. Yeah, so I'd like to put out there, Powder Puff is a little bit different rules-wise compared to, say, your average football game. So um, there's running clock. The clock only stops in the last two minutes of each half, so in the second quarter and fourth quarter tonight. There are no onside kicks. The receiving team will gain possession regardless of who, who gets the kickoff. Um, blocking. Players can use their hands to block as long as they do not hold their opponents in any way. Fumbles. This is a big key right here. Fumble balls may only be advanced by a player who picks up the ball during the extra point attempts, shotgun snaps, and punts. All other fumbles will be blown dead, and the offense will maintain possession of the ball from the spot of the fumble. So it's basically, at the end of the day, if you're on offense and you fumble the ball, it's no harm to you. So you'll just lose possession of the down. And then punting, teams may punt on fourth down. However, they must announce to the referee and the opposing team that they are punting before they do so. So a couple, you know, minor rule changes to the course of the game. This isn't, you know, full padded up football rules, you know, head-to-head -head contact, you know, all that, all the stuff you would expect in football, but not tonight. Uh, it's a great night for football. We did just have some rain pass through, so there's puddles all over the track. And we were down on the field. Yeah, there was, was puddles on the field. It's pretty wet on the field. There's going to be some slipping and sliding. Hopefully, no injuries to any certain extent. And something else I want to bring up, we have student sections again. We have a full student section in the juniors. It's about half full. Looking down at the seniors, I want to say that's probably about halfway full as well. This is awesome having a full, packed out crowd. Student body always seems to respond to Powder Puff to as we take it down to, to PA announcer Red, Roger Smith for the National Lake Anthem. Orion. And Powder Puff fans for the juniors and the seniors. At this time, we ask everybody at both fields to please stand. Please remove your hats. The privilege of this game was made possible by those who have fought and continue to fight for the freedoms we enjoy. Let us now honor and respect their efforts and our country. Civilian gentlemen, please remove your hats. All veterans, we encourage you to render the appropriate salute. And everyone who's able, please stand at attention and place your hand over your heart as we proudly sing our national anthem.
as both teams are about to take the field. Here's Dustin Wolf with tonight's keys of the game. All right, so tonight's keys of the game. All right, so before kickoff, there was a little bit of a weather front that moved through here, and, you know, seniors, you know, you're coming into this game just as experienced as the juniors. Don't let the little sister run the table tonight. If you're the seniors, you know, you're the upperclassmen in the building, you run the building, you know. You got, you know, you just got to take control, you know. And the second point, make those key plays, you know. You're not going to be penalized for a fumble tonight, you know. Play your game. At the end of the day, Coach Whitaker was saying, you know, they have really, they have a lot of confidence tonight, and, you know, they weren't allowed to be on social media today posting about tonight's game. They had to do a it social would, media blackout. Yeah, because it was going to hurt the team's morale tonight. There's a couple of juniors who actually found out today they have to sit out due to social media involvement. That's right, Derek. And, you know, we spoke with many players and throughout school today, and it's the animosity between the two teams. These two teams, this is probably one of my favorite games of the year. Just being able to see these two teams go at it year after year, the rivalry between these two teams. Seniors have obviously had the upper hand a couple years, for the last couple years, let's see what happens tonight. That's right, the seniors are the defending winners from 2019, hence we did not have a game last year, but well, this year seems to be a pretty even contest, so this one could easily go both ways. So we are just about to get underway here as the teams are lining up. G game time forecast, 66 degrees, 40% chance of rain for the rest of the night. Let's see how the rain affects the play. As the juniors have taken the field, Coach Whitaker is walking out. As we already have chance coming from the senior student section. Alrighty, so the start. It's awesome to have them back. Yeah, the starting QBs for the senior side tonight will be number 92, Taylor Mosier, and number 97, Olivia Poplowski. Let me just state for the seniors, I have four pages of rosters. For the juniors, it's three pages. So that's going to be fun trying to keep up with these players' it's, numbers tonight. It's nice to see all of the, you know, students coming out here and not being afraid to participate. It really shows you, you know, how good each of the student bodies are, juniors, seniors, you know. Even freshmen and yeah, sophomores. it's like great I have turnout. sophomore friends in the senior section tonight. Yeah, it's a great turnout. You know, it's at the end of the day, Lake Orion will be victorious tonight. Hopefully we can say the same thing about the homecoming game tomorrow. Let's hope. All right, so it looks like the officials trying to get things situated and getting underway here. Coach Whitaker looks irate about something. That's the winner of the day, irate. As I cannot tell you what's happening as the juniors are jogging back into a huddle. As Coach Whitaker clearly got his answer to whatever he was looking for. So I think what they were discussing was I think they got the juniors were supposed to receive. Probably. So probably. They, they were lined up to kick off. So looks like the juniors will receive. Yeah, because receive. there's no deep man for either team. As the chants start getting going here as a It's gonna be a loud night. There's a lot of animosity between these two teams. You've mentioned it a couple times. We have not had a game since 2019. We did not have one last year. I'm just excited to be able to call this game. That's right. It's a unique atmosphere here at Lake Orion High School. Not only do you get the football team, you know, the football, you team, the football team's not on the not on the field tonight. They are in the stands acting as everybody would be on Friday nights, cheering them on. Now it's time for them to cheer on their st their fellows. As I cannot see an open spot in the senior student section from what I can see, as we're seconds away from starting the first powder puff game in two years, there's a whiff whistle to be able to start everything. There's the kick. It's brought in at about the... That's the 12-yard line. Fumbled a little bit. And there's a fumble as it's going to be whistled down at the spot. That was nine. That's number nine, Kennedy Crim Crimson with the recovery and the return. Juniors are going to take over at the 20-yard line. 
as their junior section is jumping right now. I am not getting there jumping. Yeah, and they got the drum line over there supporting them tonight. One of the best things about football, the drum line, the marching band. It's awesome to have all of that back. All we need is the robotic team. That's for sure. Then we got a full varsity football game. Packed house here at Lake Orion High School tonight. There's some motion handoff up the middle as she is taken down flag pulled at about the 27 yard line, 22 yard line, pardon. There's Reagan Haas on the carry. It's awesome to see just powder puff under the underway again. Looks like it'll be second and about eight. From the 22 yard line. Reminder, it is running clock with except for the last two minutes of each half. As Dawson, there's still fans piling in. There's a handoff, taken left, breaks a couple tackles, as she is stopped down at the 20 yard line. That is 114. I need to go to the third page of my roster. I do not have a 114. 114. Jenna Manginello. I was looking at the wrong roster. Is that's gonna bring up third down and 10 from the 20 yard line? So they lost two there. Is that his coach Barnes, Carl Barnes, safe head by day, defensive coordinator by night. Yeah, he got a little bit of an influence from the Chicago Bears defense, which has his favorite team. He loves cheering on the Bears every Sunday. Had a big win a couple weeks ago about against the Lions. Justin Fields, first NFL career victory. Is that will bring up third down and 10? Looks like this might be a wildcat. No, it's not. Rolls out, under pressure. Does not get her flag pulled. She's got some running room. Down the sideline she goes. Still not pulled. She's still going. Oh, she's going for it. She it. gone. 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, juniors. That was 28. Man, she broke four tackles there around the 45-yard line. And after that, it was all open green grass and into the end zone. And the juniors take an early 6-0 lead there. That was 28. Michaela Long. As that's how the juniors wanted to start their third and 10, backed up at the 20 yard line, get an 80 yard touchdown run from their quarterback. Yeah, when you're, you know, the senior defense getting back to the sideline, you had four guys on that, you know, they had four potential. You could have had her down at the 45, 46 yard line. Could've how could you had her down in the backfield? How, how could you not? How could you not get a hand in there, pull the flag? Like you said in the open, it's gonna be those little plays that determine this game. Remember, the seniors do not have an experience from this. They're in the moment just as much as the juniors are. I think it's gonna be a back and forth game. Whoever gets that last gut punch in the fourth quarter, that's who's gonna win. Now the real question is, are they gonna try for the point after, or are they gonna go for two? I saw the seniors kicker kicking in warmups. I did not see a juniors kicker. Yeah, because it looked like the junior kicker was kind of squeaking in underneath the crossbar there. Yeah. So they might go for two and, you know, kind of puts the seniors, you know, they're going to be chasing the game. You know, they, they don't want to put up seven and then still behind, be behind a whole point. That's going to cause the seniors to play a little bit of catch up. And if it looks like from this stance. It looks like they're going to go for the PAT. Yep, they are going for the PAT. It's 88. That's Natalie Taylor kicking it. Kick is up. And it's no good, just short. Had the line, but just short off the foot of Taylor. That's gonna keep it a six to nothing game. Yeah, if you're the seniors here, you know, you're getting the ball. First drive of the game, go down there and score. Maybe even, you know, seniors had a couple of good legs out there yep. for special teams, you know, get the ball back, get the ball, go down and score, put, put them up by one. Deflate that defense.
as we are going to get the, in moments, we're going to get our first look at the Dragons' offense. Talking to Coach Werdeker, he talked a lot about those trick plays that we might be able to see out of the seniors' offense tonight. Yeah, he was talking about a lot of, you know, running trick plays that, you know. The double, triple, end arounds, whatever. Yeah, you know, maybe the varsity team will see the film tonight. And he said there might be those. even a chance for a quadruple if they're up big late. Yeah, you know, it's like Coach Whitaker has a lot of tricks in his bag tonight, yep. and he's willing to use them, as he said before the game. So, Coach Whitaker is a former JV football coach, former freshman baseball coach, so he has experience coaching. Coach Burning, Coach Palmieri, besides Powder Puff, nothing. As it is going to be Taylor on to kick it off. Couple, one deep, is that's a short kick. Sophia Luna picks up the ball. She's at the 50, breaks a couple of people Nicole, and finally gets her flag pulled. Nicole Luna there. 29. Now she, she told me in second hour that she didn't want her name called on the broadcast, but there you go. She picked up the ball, so she gets her name called. There you go, Sophia Luna. We are getting yelled at tomorrow, apparently. Nicole Luna. Nicole Luna. As seniors will take the ball at about midfield. It looks to be maybe in juniors territory. Let's see where they mark it down at. It looks like it's gonna be right at the 50. Right at the 50. As that looks like Liv Peplowski, number 97. In at QB. For in at senior. QB. As you mentioned, Dawson, we're gonna have a chance to see two seniors tonight. Two senior quarterbacks tonight. 92, Taylor Mosier and 97, Liv Peplowski. And Witt said they're going to switch drives, switch possessions. As it is, Peplowski, a little toss. As she is not dragged down, she is, lo loses a couple yards back to their own 48-yard line. So it'll be second and 12 from the seniors, 48. That was Violet Thomas on the pole. Lost a two there, back to the 48. Let's bring up second and 12. But talking to Coach Whitaker, he talked you know, a lot about wanting to get everyone in. He said he's really going to have four types of offenses. They're going to run the same plays, but they're going to be different people. Same thing with defense, same thing with kick returns, punt returns, kickoffs, kick, punt, punts. And just you know, getting people that chance to play as there's a little end around. Gets a block there, nice block. She's got some running room. Down to the 30, cuts it upfield. She's got one person to free. Brought down at the 10-yard line. Big running play there for the seniors. Yeah, it looks like the flag wasn't even grabbed. It looks like they shoved her right down. Yep. I still have not gotten a number for the ball carrier there. Fifteen was the ball carrier. Fifteen, that is Bridget Finnerin. Good play there by Finnerin. Pits it at the eleven yard line, first and ten. Remember, the seniors can get a first down here down at the one yard line. But yeah, going back to my point earlier, Whitaker actually said that numbers are down for Powder Puff. So you know what that means, Dawson? More playing time for those people that showed out. That's right. Especially when you have rosters over 100 players. There's a snap. Wildcat. She's got some room. As she is pulled down at the two-yard line, that was 10. Georgia, Georgia Curtis gets it down to about the two or three-yard line. See where they mark it. They're actually marking it down at the five. That's going to bring up second and three. Second and four. Is the senior, dra the Dragons soccer team just scored a goal? Yeah, that's right. They're playing in a playoff. Their Playoffs first against playoff Flushing. Game. Yeah. There's another Wildcat. That's Curtis. Brings it in. Touchdown, seniors. Georgia Curtis from two, year, two yards out ties this game at six. Let's see what they do. Do they go for two or do they go for one? Big play there by Curtis. As that gets the seniors not only on the board, that gets the fans right back into it. Yeah, it looks like they're the PAT team. They're going to run the PAT. Now they had a pretty, they were kicking, they were making quite they a bit had a really of good kick. Today. They had a really good kicker. Another. 
I imagine, yes, 106. That's going to be on page four, page three. 106 is Mia Stewart. As you remember, for a PAT, you cannot block it. You just stand there with your hands up and hope something happens. There's a snap. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up. No good, just short. Looked more of a line drive kick there off the foot of Stewart. That's going to keep the game at a 6-6 six, six tie. Game is knotted at 6. Thanks to Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting, you can watch OHS Sports Live online all year. We've got a full schedule of varsity football, volleyball, and more this fall, plus concerts and ceremonies. It costs less than $11 per month to watch sporting events, and half of the money goes right back to the OHS Dragon Broadcasting Program. Be sure to... Designate Lake Orion High School when you set up your account. Get started at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. Owen TV thanks our student crews for their hard work and dedication bringing Dragon Sports to the world. Now the seniors are getting ready to kick it away yet again. It's going to be a back and forth game all night. I'm just looking forward to when somebody actually makes a PAT. That's going to be an exciting moment, I think, for both sides. Yeah, it's going to make you think long and hard if you're going to go for the one or you're going to try for, for the two. two. As I believe that is most likely Stewart out the kick. I've not seen a number yet. That's a low line drive kick. Taken in at the 20. That's 57. We took it in. Victoria Heffery as she is stopped down at the 30 something yard line. Let's see where it's marked. I believe that's gonna be at the 35. Yes, that's gonna be right at the 35 and that's where the juniors will set up their second possession of the night. Yeah, when the juniors were right around this area of the field last time, they ran it all the way down the field. So let's see if they'll try it again, try and do that. Let's QB see, scramble and let's get out see there what and draw up here. Yeah, because when the seniors flushed the QB out of the pocket, ran all the way down the field. Could do it again. Yep. There's a snap. And they're on fumbled. Because that's going to be a loss of down, bring up second down. Looks like they might have lost one there. Looks like the seniors. Might have caught a break on defense there. I think she might have been able to break that up for a big yard. Yeah, it's a loss of one on the play due to the fumble. It'll be second and 11 from the junior 34. 34. There's a keeper. There's a handoff, actually. She's got some room. She's still running. She's got one person to beat. She's able to, oh, 20, man. 10, touchdown juniors. Man, I'm telling you, that running game for the juniors is just unstoppable right now. That is number one, Whitney Acker with the touchdown run. That's gonna pit them up 12 to six. Let's see what their decision is. Go for the PAT or go for two. Yeah, you know, you're up by six. You know, this, the seniors are really chasing the game at this point. So they're playing really behind the eight ball. Yeah, they're. They're not really, you're not really risking anything if you're the juniors going for one or two, so. It looks like they're trying the kicker back out, Taylor, and they're gonna go for the PAT again. Let's see if she can make it. For the PAT, there's a snap, low snap. She's gonna hold it down. There's the kick, kick is up. And it's good, good kick by Taylor, but more importantly, good adjustment by the placeholder there. That's right, so now the juniors have a seven point lead, so he, he As there's a replay of the touchdown run, Along with the distance. 
Maybe not technical difficulties. Yeah, like we were saying, you know, that area of the field again, they ran it all the way down. Do you think that's better offense or just poor defense? It could go either way. And here's the replay of the touchdown run. There's one tackle. There's, There's a another. second tackle. Now you see. There's there. where she pits on the afterburner. So that's about the 40-yard line of the That juniors. last effort there, she just couldn't grab the flag and home free. I like that effort there. That was 79 with the dive. That just shows how bad the teams want it. That was Teresa Hanning just pitting it, her body on the line. Yeah, you know, she couldn't. You, she knew she was running out of gas. So she's like, well, here's my... Gave it her all, reached out there, all just nothing, out of the reach, ditch. out of the reach, and Junior's put up seven more. There's the kick, fumbled, they're going to recover it no matter what, stumbles a little bit, and she's brought down, that's going to be back at about the 27-yard line. Good kick there by Taylor, as the seniors once again find themselves down on offense. Yeah, the seniors, you know, making those crucial mistakes. And, you know, it's, it looks like, you know, they, they the ball hit three different senior girls out there before, it, you know, somebody made an attempt to pick it up. Yeah, the ball gets wet because the field's really wet. But, you know, you lost about 10, 15 yards as the ball was rolling around as people were trying to pick it up. Less than a minute left in the first quarter, running clock. Here's the snap. Handoff is going to take it right. If she can beat this person, she's going to get a lot of yardage, and she just slips down at the 25. Loses a couple of yardage there. That was 27. Casey Lauer on the carry. Yeah, as that field is really wet. Just lost your footing there. Yep. As that's going to be the end of the first quarter, after one, juniors are leading this one 13 to 7. Today's game is a copyrighted presentation of Lake Orion High School's Dragon Broadcasting Program and Orion Neighborhood Television. Last school year, the LHS Dragon Broadcast Program was awarded the title of Best Overall Program in the Country. We brought you over 80 live sporting events, and we plan to match that again this year. Plus, you can catch our award-winning daily live new newscast, LOAM. Tune in at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. Dawson, we've seen one quarter so far. What do you like from both teams so far? Well, if you're the juniors right now, you know, you got a seven-point lead, and keep doing what you've been doing. I mean, the seniors... Have, I mean, yeah, they got it down the field, but it took them quite a while to get down there. And if you had two plays, and if you're the junior, two plays, you score twice. If that tells you anything. There's going to be a quarterback keep. Nice, nice blocking there. She might go the distance and down at the 40-yard line. That's going to be a first down, though. Tackle made by 77. Olivia Roback. That drum line is keeping everyone hyped up on the junior side. That 13 to 6 lead has to help a lot. I'm surprised that the drum line's not over on the senior side. I think they what they do is they go by half. So they'll be over there for the second half. Well, if I was the drum line, I'd stay over on the junior side, man. They are pumped and they are in the driver's seat right now. Two possessions, not even five plays in those combined two possessions. They already got 13 points on the board. Yeah, senior side seems kind of quiet right now. Not much for them to cheer about besides that one touchdown run. There's going to be the handoff by Mosier. Fumbled as she's just going to be marked down at the 30-yard line. That's going to be a loss of 10, bring up second and 20. The loose ball is down at the 30-yard line. But Witt keeping up with his wood, word. Keep... He pinned Mosier in for the second possession, so I imagine we'll see Peplowski back out for the third possession. 
Yeah, so they're swapping QBs on possession. Just giving to, everyone just, equal play. Just to keep the juniors guessing, you know. It's going to be second and 20 from the 30-yard line. Trips left. This is a pitch. S -s Junior's got pressure, wasn't able to tackle her. She's got some running room. Back up to the line of scrimmage. Is she tackled there? She is. Big tackle there at the 50 yard line. That's enough for a first down though. That's actually pushed out of bounds at the 49 yard line. That's gonna bring up third and one. It's going to be third and one from the 49-yard line. Spread formation, two receivers on each side. Single back in the backfield. There's a handoff. Oh, man. As she is tackled in the backfield, that's going to be back to the 45-yard line. Junior's defense came to play on that possession. Yeah, that running back was really far back, almost by the, you know, 40 yard line, you know, by the time she got the ball, some of the attackers were already in the backfield and it was, they were just like, first of all, boom, there it is and tackled for a loss. Fourth down and four from the 46. Yeah, this is all or nothing for the seniors right here. I mean, you're, you go for if it you here. Turn, turn the ball over, the juniors have a really, really good field possession to start out their drive here. They got to get this first. Looks like they might just punt it away. I cannot tell. They jog their offense off, so I'm imagining they're punting. No, there's a handoff. She's got some oh, room and tackled man. back at the 45 yard line. Junior's defense is standing strong right now. Momentum, it's a momentum game. Juniors have all the momentum right now and they get the ball at the senior 40. 48, 49, about 48, 48. That's pretty good field position. Now, if you're the juniors jogging Can't out here, anything better? If you're the juniors jogging out here, you could, if you go in and score, you'll have a two possession lead. You're kind That's of huge. You know, you're you're on upside the, alert right now. Yeah, and we're only in the second quarter. As the Dragons soccer team just scored another goal, two to nothing lead against Flushing. <laughs> but back to the powder puff game we have here. Little motion there, there's gonna be a snap, fumble. They're gonna roll it down at the spot of the fumble. That's gonna be back at their Back at the junior's 49 yard line, it's gonna bring up second and 13. Second and 13 from the 49 yard line. What are you saying if you're Coach Whitaker right here, Dawson? As there's a handoff, a little confusion. And once again, they're stopped in the backfield. Defense looking strong so far this possession. Yeah, well, that was a miscommunication on the offensive side. He had two two potential runners running into each other down there, and he got the QB right in the middle. So they weren't really going anywhere. And if you're Coach Whitaker right now, you're telling your team just to, you know, it would be huge if they were to get a stop here and, you know. Especially fourth. Yeah, get that momentum back. Over. Yeah. It's gonna be fourth down and third down and 16, sorry, from the 40, 36, 46 yard line. Drumline rocking out on the junior sideline once again. There's gonna be a whistle, timeout juniors. Larry Buss and the crew at Jets Pizza located at 1091 South Lapeer Road have been a proud supporter of Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Athletics since 2009. 
Jet Supplies Catering for cast and crew. Thank you, Larry, for your continued support. Give them a call at 248-814-7559 for more information. And as the juniors discuss what they're going to do, you know, third and long, you know, potential, you know, seniors might have a chance to stop them here. Be a big stop here if you're the seniors. Get that momentum back on your sideline just a little bit. Yeah, even in, yeah, even if it's just a little bit, get the ball back. Keep it a one-score game. You don't want to, you know, make it a two-possession game because, you know. You, That'll be hard it, for your offense right. to climb back from. As there's a snap, rolls out, has some pressure, rolls out of it, rolls to her left. She's not down, so nice spin moves. As finally, she is taken down. Got a bunch of yardage back. That's going to be in the senior territory, down to about the 47, 48 yard line. That's actually marked down at the 41, as there's a replay. Watch her spin out of the tackle right there. That was 78, almost had her down in the backfield. Breaks three tackles right there. The athleticism from, that was 26, Chloe Wiegers, just to keep that play extended. Looking a little bit like Patrick Mahomes there. Yeah, looting the pressure and then finding a hole to get positive yardage and big, now big you're, game there. Well, now you're in a position where, okay, you can go for it on fourth down and you have you have a reasonable amount of right. game. Versus fourth and 13, it's fourth and five. That's an eight yard gain right there. That's gonna be fourth and five from the seniors 43. Empty backfield. There's some motion. It's gonna be a handoff out of the backfield actually. She's got the first down and more. She's not brought down. There's the two possession lead touchdown, juniors. And just like that, it's a two possession game. That's killer for those seniors right there, going down 19 to six. Here's a replay. As you watch, once again, getting, the getting pressure at the line of attack, not being able to complete. Broken tackles right there at the 25, and then she just takes off. Grant, open. Open grass. Open field tacking. That's tackling. That's what's killing the seniors' defense right now. Yeah, you know, not only in the second possession where you had three girls in the vicinity to make a tackle. It was the same thing right there. Same, the thing. same thing on the fourth on the third down run. Yeah. I don't know if the flags are, you know, hard to pull today or you know a slippery from the yeah. Rain. But at the end of the day, key plays matter and juniors right now. They are running the table. Might see the first junior win from since 2017. There's a snap, the hold, kick is up. Just short off the boot of Taylor. That's gonna keep it a 19 to six game. That's still a three possession. That's a two possession game, Dawson. Yep. DVD copies can be purchased by calling ONTV at 248-393-1060. For only $10, you can get a copy of not only this game, but any game or program in our broadcast vault. The DVD copies are yet again purchasable by calling 248-393-1060. Now, Derek, the juniors are in the driver's seat, up 19-6, to 6, currently around 9.20 left here in the first half. You're the juniors. What would you do right now? Just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. It's working. Keep the pedal to the metal. I don't care if you win 50 to 6. Just keep the pedal to the That's metal right. right now. As here's the botch snap once again. Finally falls down on it at about the 39-yard line. And that's where the seniors will set up another possession. Yeah, so if you're the seniors here, the juniors have scored on every single drive tonight. You were stopped your second one. You've scored on one. Yep. They are one for two. And but you know what might come back to haunt them? Taylor is one for three on PATs. That's right, but at the end of the day, points are points. Points win you games, and if you can't, if you can only get in the end zone once, I don't think you can win the game. But coming back down to it, if it's a close game at the end, you might be looking at those two missed PATs. That's right. 
is I do believe that is Peplowski under center. As there's a pass play, completes the pass. The oh! Play. She's got some running room. Nice trick play out of the bag of tricks, and she's down at the 41 yard line. That's the tackle by 95. Sophia Beamer, nice play there from the bag of trips from Witt with the completed pass. Yeah, nice little lateral there. Right before, you know, a couple juniors coming up to make the tackle and boom, shuffled it off and got a huge game. Plays like that can bring the momentum right back to your side, down by two scores. You turn a first down play into even huge more, game. 20, 30 yards. Yep. It says, indeed, Peplowski at the quarterback position. Spread formation here. She's got the running back right at her left side. There's some motion. There's going to be the handoff, the reverse. Nice blocking there. As there is a flag coming out. As she's still on her feet. And finally, her flag is taken. At about the 48 yard line, let's see what the flag is. It's gonna be holding on the offense. Holding on the seniors. That's gonna put it back at about the 47, I believe. No, they're walking it back 10 yards. That's going to put it back all the way at their own 45-yard line. It's mistakes like that, that's going to kill you. That's right, Derek. And we talked about in pregame, it's the little things that will win you, win you this game. It's a game of, you know, to win pride. And it's the little things that, you know, really stand out throughout the course of the game. Like this penalty, 10-yard penalty, now you're looking – at a first and 23. This is a direct snap to the Wildcat. Rolls it right. As she gets a positive gain, flag pulled. That's just getting back yardage there on first down. Good play. As she moves it to the 45 yard line of the juniors. So it'll be second down and 13 for the seniors. But that's a positive gain there on first down. Get it. Second and closer to the first yard gain. Yeah, you get it up near the you know, original line of scrimmage and you're kind of looking at, okay, this is more like a, you know, you're getting close to the marker where you can be like, okay, we're 10 yards, you know. Five yards. Yeah, you can kind of go for it, but. See, even if you get another 10 yard gain, that's gonna be third and short when you had first and 23 back in your own territory. Yeah. It's gonna be second and 13 at the 45. Another wildcat snap. Has good blocking. She's going to roll out left. Hits the sidelines. Tackle missed. Another tackle missed. She's cutting it back upfield. I think she might have this one. Oh, nice tackle at the 27-yard line. Another big play leads to a senior first down. Those are the plays you need. Good play, good run there by the seniors. Get it down in enemy territory and get it into the red zone. That's going to be down to the 12 yard line, 17 yard line actually. Yeah, so if you're the seniors right now, you got to start watching the clock as it, it'll only stop under two minutes. Yeah, so it's kind of like the NFL, a two minute warning, you know, but it keeps running. You got clock management is big right now. Let's see what Coach Whitaker can draw up here, first and 10 from. The junior 17, down 19 to 6 with 14 13 left in the half. 4 13 actually. There's going to be a rollout pitch. As the tackle oh. is pulled, the flag is pulled at the 20 yard line. That was 84. McKinley Stevens with the tackle there for the juniors. Nice tackle there. Dives for it, grabs the flag. Second and 14. Three forty left here in the first half. Seniors be looking to take their time, running it in the huddle. Right. 
as it's second and 14. There's a direct snap to the Wildcat. Gets some blocking, flags pulled though. Looks to be back to the original line of scrimmage. That was 27, Casey Lauer with the carry. It's going to bring up third down and 10. And we are under three minutes here. There's going to be a timeout by Witt, the second timeout of the half. Sorry, correction, first timeout of the half, they have two left. Go mobile with ONTV TV anytime. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on your mobile devices. Connect with ONTV TV to see what's happening in our studio, see upcoming events, and watch ONTV TV programs in high definition and on demand. ONTV TV is working to bring back Lake Orion to the world. All right, so we're looking at a 19-6 game here. Two minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the first half. Here are the seniors here. You gotta get on the board before the half because you know you're gonna be getting the ball back at the start of the second half. So, so not that only could be a two possession swing right there if you score going into halftime and you score coming out. And if you stop the juniors here before, you know, before the first half ends, you could easily make it almost, you might even be able to take the lead. Big thing to remember, they have two timeouts. Clock is gonna stop like it would for a normal football. And it is third down right now, so. Third down and 10 from the 17. Trips right, single receiver to the left, single back in the backfield. It's gonna be the handoff. He's got some yardage, positive yardage, as the flag is pulled. Looks to be a gain of, of about five. He's gonna bring up fourth down though. Fourth and seven, gain of three there. You gotta go for it here if you're the seniors. Oh yeah, if you're the seniors, you know, you're in the red zone, you need points, you gotta get something out of it, even if it's just a first down. Clock continues to run down to 2.43 left in the half. 2.40. As the seniors seem to be into it, the juniors, seniors, junior section, not much to cheer for in the first half. It's gonna be a fourth and seven from the 14 yard line. First down marking is at about the seven. See what Witt calls up here on fourth and seven. There's a snap, it's gonna be a pass. We've seen this play before. It's got some blocking, down to the 10. Knocked out of bounds at the five yard line. Let's see where they mark this. It looks to be enough for a first down and yes, they're moving the markers. It's gonna be first and goal at about the five yard line. Good play there, good time to dial that play up once again. That is a good pickup there by the seniors. Another one of their trick plays out of that bag of tricks and it gets them the first down and they are in position to make, make a statement here really at the end of the first half. If you're wet, when you start burning those timeouts to try and get enough clock to maybe jog your offense out again if you stop the juniors. Yeah, if you're Coach Whitaker right now, you know, you're really, those trick plays are really throwing the juniors off. And you see you can get those crucial yards with those trick plays and seeing that you can really improvise them. Clock continues to run down to about a minute 15. There's gonna be the double reverse. She's got blocking. I think she's gonna be able to walk in. And let's see the officials marking. She is in, touchdown seniors. We got a ball game, folks. Good answer there as the clock continues to run down to a seven point game. Big. As there's a replay, the double reverse works. That's 46 who scored. As she, good cut there, good block. The juke, and she was able to get in. Yeah, it looks like she ran right at a junior defender there. She's lucky she didn't get her flag pulled there at the one. Madeline Smith was the one to score as it looks like the seniors are just gonna jog out for the PAT. And it looks like, it looks like, you know, this was part of Coach Whitaker's game plan. Run the clock down, kick the PAT, with not enough time where the juniors can get the ball back and get something out of it. So then you're coming out in the second half, you get the ball and have a chance to take the lead. Coach Bourbon's all the way out to where the 10 yard marking is. A passionate coach, nonetheless. 
as we're going to get the snap, good snap, good hold, kick is up, and it's good. That's looking like a varsity football kick right there. It's going to bring this game to a 19-13 lead. Is Jacob Lee in disguise out there? Who know? He, I think he's on the other field over there. At half, we got 13 to 19 juniors over the seniors. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back for the second half and much more action. As we're back to start the second quarter, juniors leading this one 19-13. Dawson, would you put the seniors on up to alert quite yet? Um, if they're getting the ball back here at the start of the second half, I wouldn't put them on the upset alert just yet, but if they really waste this drive here at the beginning of the second half, I would I would start to ask some questions here as they need desperate points. We've talked a lot about Whitaker tonight. What would you say if you're Coach Burden right now? Your team's up six points going into the second half. Keep it rolling. They're doing, I mean, you got the seniors treading water over here. and Bare, Barely staying above water right now. Yeah, you know, you got them treading water. You know, they're, both of these teams, this is their first time playing Powder Puff, so they're not used to being, you know, down the six. Yeah. yeah, and, you know, the junior student section, man, they are pumping them up over there. The senior student section has been fairly quiet here as of late. As I think the senior student section is going to... Yeah, if you're the seniors right now, you don't want to go into school tomorrow losing to the junior class. That's you, the last thing you You're going to hear about it all day, all month, all year. All year. You're going to hear about it in the pep assembly tomorrow. Oh, you're going it to, will, it will be a never-ending thing. It's kind of just like when the Lions lose on Sundays. You never hear the end of it until next Sunday. And then they lose again. And you don't hear about it until the following Sunday. Well, they got a bye week, so you might not, I don't know, you might you not You get a week it. off somewhere in the season? Yeah, somewhere, but it's kind of. Just, just like your Browns, Dawson. That's right. What are they right now, two and three? Three and two? I've lost count. So should, we are should have been in Kansas City. Anyways, we're seconds away from starting the second half. Enough talking about NFL for now. Yeah, I mean you could relate this any football game to the NFL, I mean, but and it looks like four and one, so I'm good. Let's see who comes out here in the second half and really sets the tone. Is this a kickoff? Bounces away from the receiver all the way down to the 19. She's gonna pick it up and try and return it able to break one tackle and her belt falls off. They're going to whistle the play dead. I believe that's going to be where the belt fall off, which fell off, which is the 21 yard line. And they're marking her down at the 20. First and 10 seniors from their own 20 yard line. As Dawson scoring that touchdown before half, how much momentum does that give you, especially with your offense coming back out to start the second half? Oh, that is, you can't ask for much more. I mean, you could have easily turned the ball over. But to get, you know, insurance points before the halftime, that's all or nothing. Push it, put you in reach of tying it up or even taking the lead. But once again, if the seniors score and take the lead, it goes back to those two missed PATs by the juniors. Because now you're going to be down by one, 20 to 19. As someone is fired, fired up on the senior sideline, I cannot see who that is. This is going to be the fake end around, reverse I mean. There's going to be a flag thrown down. She's still going. Flag is down, though, so this really doesn't matter. And she's going to be whistled dead. The students, Junior steamrolled over there on the sideline. They're moving the chains, so it might be on the offense. Chains need to go back. Second holding call of the night on the seniors. Man, that, that is a backbreaker Killer. right there, Killer. man. It's... That would have been a huge gain, now it's brought back. They gotta be able to dodge those penalties all second half to be able to keep themselves in the game. Costly penalties, man. Costly penalties. 
That's going to put them inside their own 10 yard line at the nine, bring up second, first and 21. Following the penalty, it's first and 21. Clock continues to run about 15 and a half minutes left in the third quarter. So end around, no one's home. She's got some room to run. She's at the 40, still on her feet. She is going to be not tackled. She's dragging the players along with her. 91 yard touchdown. She was evasive on that one. Touchdown seniors. And we got a tie ball game, folks. All the momentum is on the senior side right now. And the junior sideline is quiet. The junior student section is quiet right now. They are in awe. They just blew a two possession lead and just under. As here's a replay. You could tell at probably about, I want to say the 40 or 50, she had a chance. She evades one there. As she's still running. Looks like they had the flag a couple they of times. They had the flag, just oh. drags the player. Drags another player there. There's two. And she goes the distance. That was 102. That was 102, Gianna Rodriguez. She was evasive there, Dawson. Yeah, you know, you had two potential flag tackles there and looks like this couldn't get a grip on him to pull him. And we have a tie ball game. As they're gonna trot on for the PAT. One for two on the night. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up. And it's good. And there's the there's the cheering from the sidelines. as the seniors has marched back. As the seniors take the lead once again, for the first time in this game, they have the lead. You know who Gianna looked like there? What? Going back to my Phineas and Ferb days, Perry the Platypus was able to evade all those traps set by Dr. Doofenshmirtz and always beat the bad guy. That's what Gianna Rodriguez did right there. A little weird analogy, but hey, it works. Flashback to childhood. As that's gonna give the seniors a 20 to 19 lead. Going back once again to those PAT attempts by Taylor. At the end of the day, you know, they just started learning the game of exactly. football. Exactly, no, you're, you're 100% right. It's, you know, Making an attempt is hard enough. I mean, we stood down there before, two hours before kickoff, and I don't even think me or you could even get a kick up there. I really don't think so. You give me about 10 attempts, I might be able to get one out of 10, if that. Maybe we that's a boot brought in at the 14. As she is brought down at the 25 yard line. Nice pull there, as I'm not able to get a number of the defender. She goes right to the sidelines, 26. That is Andrea, a, and, Adriana Lambert. Good pull there. Now let's see if they can stop the really good junior offense. Junior's offense has looked unstoppable so far tonight. Let's see if they can pick up where they left off in the first half. It's been a while since they've had the ball though, Dawson. Do you think that can help kind of stalemate that offense? Well, most of the time they've had the ball, they've ended up in the end zone. So I wouldn't underestimate this junior offense. See if the defense can get a big stop here. Ooh, There's pressure. big collision there. That was a better play on defense. There. That was a big collision there, right in the pocket. Luckily everyone's okay, everyone's running out perfectly unscathed. There's another winner of the day on Scape. Your vocabulary is just getting better every broadcast, Mr. Steele. For you 
for you that cannot see him, he is shaking my head at me. He is shaking his head at me right now. Anyway, that's going to bring up a second and 10. No gain at the 25-yard line. If you're the juniors right now, they've they've scored on every possession. Under, under five plays every drive. They've scored. As the flag is pulled in the backfield, yeah, big the, play there by the defense. The juniors are having a real tough time getting getting that momentum back, and you know it just gets to you. The you offense know. looks stagnant right now. It looks flat. The momentum shift has occurred. You know what it is? It's a drum line. Whose sideline was the drum line on in the first half? Juniors. Whose sideline is it on now? Seniors. I mean, that's a good assumption right there. He's shaking his head at me again. I mean, you can't underestimate this junior offense. You can't, by any means. But you can't also un underestimate any defense as well. Three for three on drive so far for the juniors. It's going to be a third and 15 from the 20-yard line. Clock down to about 9.43 left in the quarter. They're going to drop back and pass. Pressure evades it. Flushed. Flag. Flag. This one's coming back, folks. As she is marked down, it's going to be fourth down anyway. It's going to be up to the 26 or 27. The flag is in the backfield, marked down at the 18-yard line. Right now, that leap reads as a seven-yard gain. It's going to bring up third and fourth and eight. See what the flag is. Looks like it's against the offense. As if I'm Coach Whitaker, I decline it. It's going to be against the holding against the offense. They are indeed going to they're going to decline it, I believe. There is some discussion. They're going to accept it. That's going to bring up third down again. As that just backs up the offense. Yeah, if you're the defense here, you know, it is... I, go ahead. It's going to be third down, but... I, I you, there's a third down on the marker, but why are they why are they playing the punt on third down? There's a lot of miscommunication Man, going it, on right now. It's like I'm watching Penn State punting in on third down. Green Bay kicking the field and goal, fourth and the, down. And the punt, punt team jogs off the field. Looks like a miscommunication there by Coach Burden, man. Burden wanted to give that ball back to the seniors real quick. But you know what I don't understand there? I don't understand why you accept it. It was fourth down. You know what that reminds me of? Coach McVay against the Cardinals a couple weeks ago accepts that crucial third down penalty. Kyler Murray goes down and scores it before halftime. I think that was the turning point in that game. This might be the turning point in this game. As it stands, it's going to be a third and 26 from the nine-yard line. And no, they are not punting. The offense is back on the field. Yeah. They, Coach Burden realized that, you know, when you hit that 10-yard penalty, you still get the replay down, and it's not lost it down. So penalty rules still work out here as normal football rules. So here we go. Let's see if the juniors can, you know, get this ball back in the end zone. I don't know. They're backed up quite a ways. I'm the juniors right here. I just take what I can get, try and get as many positive yards as I can here on fourth, third down. As it's going to be a third down, the end around might have fooled a couple of people as the flag is pulled deep in the junior territory. That's going to be marked down at the about 11 or 12 yard line. It's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, man, the, the seniors are really setting up shop down here. You know, they're they're building that fort like a beaver would. And man, it's can't can't knock that thing down. It's blocking that water away. And man, woo wee! Both, both and they're getting the ball big back. Plays tonight. Getting the ball back, looking to increase the lead by two possessions. You know who they're looking like? The old. Good old Oregon State Beavers defense. That's right. Is this going to be the punt? Oh. Botched. 
She's gonna take a senior roll, picked up at the 45, takes it left, it's got some room to run. She's down to the 30. And her flag's pulled at about the 15 yard line. Good run there. There's 23. Natalie Keog on there. That is a good pick up there on the kick return. Puts them right in the red zone to start their drive and get a nice quick and easy six points and the seniors are back in the driver's seat. Take that, take, score another touchdown and build on this lead. Make it a seven, you know, eight point lead, even possibly a nine yard lead if you go for the, or the two point conversion. As you see the senior sidelines doing the dance for the drum line. This team is into this game, both teams are. Yeah, the junior sideline right now looks really dead. Missed tackle there, it's gonna cut it upfield. She's got some room to run, got two people to beat, and she's into the touchdown, seniors. Good run there from 14 yards out. That's gonna make this lead even bigger. There's Madeline Smith on that 14 yard touchdown. As it stands, it is a 26 to 19 game. And Dustin, if I'm the seniors, I go for two here and make it that two possession game. That's right, it's already a two possession game. So they're not gonna score. Here's the replay. Watch her cut it up and I believe it's the right there, 17. Breaks a couple of tackles and has to cut back to her right. Breaks a couple more tackles and goes into the end zone. Anyway, as you were saying. Yeah, so it's, you're already up two possessions already. So. It's a seven point lead. Yeah, but if they're gonna miss the kick, if they're sure. gonna miss the kick. You're right, you're right. And if they get the kick here, it'll be two. Is this senior sideline jumping around there dancing? They're into the game right now. They got all the momentum. There's a snap, there's a hold, kick is up. And it's good. This is really looking like Jacob Lee on Friday nights here. Yeah, man, blast him through the uprights. And Jacob's team's actually up over there in their first playoff game against Flushing. Maybe have a run at the district championship? Maybe. As I'm trying to look at the score, I believe it's still two to nothing. Two Neil. There's a tree in my way of that scoreboard. I know it's in the second half of that game. So I'd imagine it's still two to nothing. As you know, we were talking about the senior student section being flat in the first half. Now it's kind of switched sides to junior senior student section. And the I believe we will win chance start and, already and, and we're I miss still that in the I missed that chance. I've heard it once this year. Uh, well, they still got to realize that there's a lot of football left to be played. There's another kick. Bounces within the 10 yard line. They could really pin the juniors back here. She's gonna go left, breaks a couple of tackles as her flag is pulled down at the 23 or 24 yard line. Seemed to be Ellis Sieber on the kick return. As they're gonna mark it down at the 25 yard line. Or like the 24 and about 99 100th yard line. If you're the juniors here, you gotta score. Gotta keep that game close within it. within striking distance. Gotta keep it close. Let's go offense chant coming from the junior student section. Yeah, the junior student section's got to get this junior team fired up. You know, they are flat. It's been all seniors here so far this half. Seniors have stolen the momentum and they've run with it. There's a snap. 
Looks to be some pressure in the backfield if they did. And she's brought down at the 30 yard line. That was 14. Angelina Phileas on the carry. It's gonna be a gain of five up to the 30 yard line. We're less than a minute away from the fourth quarter. 35, 34 seconds left. They might be able to get one more playoff here before the Maybe third quarter. Maybe two play hustle. Down. Yeah. They're moving the chains. Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna let the time run out. Yep. They're marking it down first and 10. Probably a defensive penalty there. I didn't see a flag come out. Neither did I. Nonetheless, that will be a first down as the clock will run out. After three, it's 27-19 in favor of the seniors. Today's game is a copyrighted presentation of Lake Orion High School's Dragon Broadcasting Program and Orion Neighborhood Television. Last school year, the LHS broadcast program was awarded the title of Best Overall Program in the Country. We brought you over 80 live sporting events, and we plan to match that again this year. Plus, you can watch our award-winning daily live newscast, LOAM. Tune in at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. As Dawson, I think our soccer team might have scored again. Yeah, our soccer team's been doing well over there. I haven't seen Flushing put one in the net. Um, That's always a good thing. That is always a good thing in soccer. and You know, our soccer team's been playing well this year, and kudos to them trying to get out of that first round and potentially, you know, trying to bring a champion championship back to Lake Orion. Yeah, the girls can do it. Why can't the boys do it, you know? So it's the boys' time, and they're looking good this year, and we send them all the good... Good wishes. Oh, yeah, as they get deeper into that match over there, and... We're hopefully, for in our match. hopefully send Flushing home with the loss. As the juniors continue their drive. As last word I've had, the Dragons are up three to nothing against Flushing. That was as of about a half hour ago. As it's gonna be seniors. Junior's ball to start the second, the fourth quarter. I'm a little bit behind myself right now, Dawson. This is gonna be cut up the middle. And she is knocked down. Put that with three exclamation points there. Man, I thought we were playing tackle football there, man. She was ran into. She I did not get there. her flag pulled. She was ran into. Felius was the one carrying the ball. Got enough for a first down with a 10 yard gain. It's gonna be up to the 45 yard line. She was stopped dead in her tracks there. She looked like she was going the mile. She got st stood up. Looks more like varsity football there with that hit. I mean, looking at some of these, a lot of these plays, these power puff teams are running. I mean, they might be able to beat our varsity football team. I mean, you never know. I mean, any team can be any given team on any given night. That's for sure. We've seen a lot of that this year. As the Dragons just scored another goal, they're flushing, flushing out of the tournament. Yeah, that, yeah. That was a bad one. Man, Flushing's going to have a long ride home. I mean, Flushing's just north of Flint, so they have an upwards of a 40-minute drive home, and... Getting shut out on the road is very Not hard to fun. come by. Anyway, back to Powder Puff. First and 10 from the 45. Empty backfield. High snap. She's going to keep it herself. She's throwing a deep pass. Picked that's off. That's picked off. That's picked off. That's 58. Alexa Ayat with the pick. 56 was actually the person who picked it 56, off. Megan Witt. Megan Witt with the pick. And man, that quiets the junior sideline. Woo! Looked like they might have had something going there. No, you throw it in the triple coverage like that, and 
you know, you're throwing it up hoping for the best and just praying. Yeah. Number one rule of quarterbacking, make sure to protect the ball. Don't throw it into triple coverage. Broke both the rules there. She had to pay the price. Yeah, even if you're flushed out of the pocket, you know, get rid of the ball. Even if, you know, get it in an area of an eligible receiver. And As we have just got an official word, five to nothing Dragons over flushing. Yeah, the Dragons are doing good over there on the soccer field tonight. Must have been, must be this atmosphere over here on the football field the that's racking up the, the score. Field. No, you know what it is? It's a music played pregame. Oh, yeah. Is there's a run to the right? She's going to take it up the sideline. She's tripped out of bounds, I believe. Whistle is calling the play dead. It's going to be down to the 44-yard line into Junior's territory. It's all seniors right now, Big D. There's a replay. She's going to take it right off the handoff. Get some good blocking there. Outruns the defender and barely gets pushed out of bounds. Yeah, if that junior didn't cut her off there, I think she would have been all the way down. Celebrating six. Yeah. Five to nothing, though, for a soccer game. Not every day you hear that score. It's on to the next for the Dragons. It's going to roll out left as the quarterback. She's got some blocks. She's still on her feet, and the play is whistled dead. Her flag was pulled at about the 29-yard line. And the seniors just keep keep pounding the junior defense here. And, you know, we talked about it before halftime. The juniors are just running out of steam. Their moment, you know, after the seniors started that late comeback in the first half it's been all seniors ever since and they've the, taken the momentum yeah the junior sideline just looks lifeless you know they just they just look dead students you know, student section too man they look they're, they're astounded you know we've had some great dragons in our past here as there's a keeper to the right she's got some blocks flag is the refs are whistling it down. They're going to move the change, so it's a first down. Back to my point, though. We've had some great Dragons in our past. You know, Jeff Heath, Sophie Novak's at um, Notre Dame. We've had some really good players, had some really good coaches. You know, Coach Manzo, Coach Bell, our athletic director. Booker's doing a great job with the JV, co with the JV team. I got to say, my favorite Dragon, though, I got to go to a movie. I got to give it to Toothless or the Dragon. Yeah, you're just doing it because it's a dragon, right? Yeah. Yeah, Toothless the Dragon, man. Toothless the Dragon. You might not have had teeth, but he was fierce. Is there an end around? Gets a block, has some space to room. And she is knocked down. I think the play was whistled dead before she was knocked down. Man, I don't even think that flag was pulled. She was... Is there's going to be an official timeout, officials timeout, as there's a senior down. But Dawson, I know you're not going to like to hear this. Red Wings are up one to nothing after one period. Man, that's surprising. I know they're kicking off their 21-22 regular season Tampa tonight Bay down had at a LCA. Break, heartbreaking loss to Pittsburgh a couple nights ago. Raising the championship banner, back-to-back -back championships for the Lightning there. Yeah, you know, it's kind of relatable what we're seeing here. You know, you really get caught up in the atmosphere. You embrace it for a couple, you know, period, quarter. It kind of relates. You know, the juniors were all in it here in the yep. first first quarter. And then right after the seniors started scoring, it was like deer in headlights, man. They just turned it off. And, you know, we have a lopsided game. We still got plenty of, to go in this one. 12, 15 clock did stop due to the injured player.
First down and 22 from the 32 yard line. Must have been a flag called on that last play. This is the run out to the right. Flag is now pulled and finally tripped out of bounds. Positive yards there. There's Lauer on the carry. He's gonna bring up second and a little bit more manageable. Yeah, we just got about 11.30 here left in the game. Seniors up 27-19. Looking for, you know, they're in the red zone. They're looking to put a little ice Fit in the, the wound nail. here. Fit the yeah. nail in the coffin. I think if you score it. They don't, they don't want to hear that junior back talk tomorrow. If they they want to be named Powder Puff champions. You know, you're already at the top. You're a senior. You don't want to get beat by it underclassmen man except juniors are upperclassmen yeah but at Same the end difference. of the day you're the king of the building you don't want to be technically it would be clean it's kind of that. just like Michigan Michigan State you don't want to be by a little be, beat, beat by, by a little, little brother sister. yeah as there's gonna be a rollout left she's got some positive yardage she's not tripped up into the end zone touchdown as it is officially marked the touchdown there's lower on the keeper there and I think it's safe enough to say that this one might be a senior's victory. Yeah, the first half we thought the seniors were in trouble, but man, they got they turned on the afterburners and man, woo! We were calling a possible upset alert there in the second quarter. The juniors have not scored since the second quarter. Or have gotten even the since ball. Since their third possession of the game, yeah. I believe. Seniors have domi dominated the game, they've dominated the ground, and thus far have dominated the time of possession. And that's gonna tire our defense out if it's powder puff or even regular football. This is the kick. It is up and it is good. So this is gonna, that's gonna make it a 34 to 19 game in favor of the seniors. Yeah. As there's sure. not much happening on the senior side of the field right now. Yeah, Jacob Lee might have his uh, job up for grabs. I mean, Stewart's out here kicking pretty good kicks, but I mean, they're getting a little bit more time than football, but I mean, it's been right on the money here as of Fake late. Good kicks nonetheless. Like you said earlier in the broadcast, we might not even be able to do it. As the seniors will run out and kick it off. And Dawson, if you're the juniors, what are you saying right now? Well, it's, at the end of the day, it's, you wanna get back in this game. Every drive you get, you gotta capitalize. You wanna and be able to at least make it close. Even if you don't come out on top, just give, just make it close. A fighting chance. Just be able to say hey at least we tried and there's another deep kick is that might roll into the end zone it's not going to brought in at the four yard line takes it left she's going to be pinned deep unless she can break a couple of tackles out of bounds that would have been a fumble out of bounds and this is i believe might be marked inside the 10 yard line it's marked right at the 10 yard line good kick there good downfield coverage by the kick coverage team Man, the junior sideline was quiet. quiet. So is the student section. Remember that student section we were saying was super loud? Super amped Silent. up, yeah. It's now it's the seniors' turn to be a little bit noisy. They're full student sections in both sides tonight. Big student body turnout, just like every year. Oh yeah. It's just nice that we get to have powder powder puff this year. It's gonna be a little keeper to the left. Takes it upfield. And she's gonna her flag pulled at the 17 yard line. But Dawson, you, you know what the juniors might need a little bit right now? A little good cup of coffee. Just get that energy boost, get the caffeine going through the blood again. Get them in, back into this one. I think they need coffee with like a lot of sugar. 
couple cups of sugar, a maybe, little creamer. Maybe even a five-hour energy. Throw a five-hour energy into that? I might try that. Probably not. I mean, the concession stand's open over there by the junior side. I mean, You think they, they sell coffee with creamer and sugar? Oh, I bet. Hour? Hot chocolate, anything. All the goods. Good old cup of hot chocolate sounds good right about now. Oh, yeah. Hey, but yeah, you need something. You only got about six, six and a half left in the game, and you're down uh, quite a bit. There's going to be a fumble, whistle dead. So you couldn't bring up a third down and short. So the Varsity Dragons are here tonight in their season home, their home finale tomorrow as they host Birmingham Seaholm. Both teams are Birmingham Seaholm is one and six on the season, and the Dragons are currently two and four. Two and four, and at you know it's going to be a great atmosphere tomorrow. Homecoming, homecoming game. Night. Crowning of the homecoming king and queen tomorrow, too. You got any predictions on that? I think Clayton Kuyper is going to get the homecoming Clayton king. Clayton Kuyper? I was going to say Clayton and Miranda. Yeah. I'm going to have to take a different edge from you. I'm saying Jackson Ben and Paige Walker. Mm. A couple of former marching, I believe they're actually both still a marching band. But, you know, this is the best time of year. We didn't have this last year. Just to be able to have that homecoming ap atmosphere. You know, we had the hypnotist last night. Our very own Lyndon Potter was hypnotized. Yeah, he was the star of the show last night. He was night. the star of the show. But not even that. You know, you had activity night, Sunday night, the parade. Like you said, the homecoming king and queen tomorrow, the game. It felt and then the somewhat dance. normal. Even in the craziness, you know, we're in. Just having that normalcy back is something we haven't experienced in a year plus. And being able to... You, just have that homecoming, just that one last experience as seniors. And even for, you know, the underclassmen who weren't able to have it last year, or even juniors who had it as freshmen. Yeah, it's great to be back. As the clock is winding down, there's gonna be a handoff, takes it left. She's gonna be knocked out of bounds. Nice little hit there by the defense. I believe that was 44 on the carry. That's Taylor Dinda. Taylor Dinda. Had her older brother Ryan in TPW for about half a year last year. Yeah, Ryan's a good guy. He's over at Oakland University right now. Big shout out to Ryan if he's watching this game right now. Enjoying the college life. Taking it all in. And once again, my partner is shaking his head at me. Clock continues to run down to about 345 left in the game. Seniors are up big in this one, 34 to 19. It's gonna be a second and four from the juniors 31 yard line. Michael Wildcat here. Quarterback is directing traffic. She's gonna keep it herself. Might try and roll out and pass this one. She's gonna keep it. She's got some room to run. Cuts it upfield. She's still on her feet. She's breaking a couple of tackles. She's running this one. They've got the flag. Let's see where this one's marked down. There's a pile of bodies on the field. Could not see the flag pulled. As they are indeed going to move the chains and mark this one down at the seniors 47 yard line. Clock continues to run. As Dawson, if you're the juniors, you just want one more score. Just something to brag about tomorrow. Yeah, get it closer, friend. And, you know, at school tomorrow, uh, we ran you over last night. But. Uh, Can you do your senior voice again? Do it one more time. Yeah, I got ran over last night. And there's Dawson Wolf, the, what do you call those people that do? The impressionist. Yes, but. You know, so as the seniors look to try and end this comeback here, they're going to change the clock to 310. 
left in the game. As the clock on our screen just keeps continuing to wind down. We have an awesome graphics person doing graphics tonight. Yes, we do. His name? Jackson Bellinger. <laughs> just gave us a little salute. I wish we had a GoPro in here tonight so you could see the craziness. We got heads nodding, salutes. I'm about half asleep right now. Rain's starting to come down again. Rain's starting to come down. You can't write this. The last time it's rained at a powder puff event. I probably wasn't born yet. Yeah, it's been years. <laughs> there was the flag pulled. The juniors are starting to drive though. I still got editing to do tonight. Got a big show tomorrow. We're gonna do it in the field house. That's going to be a must-see tomorrow, huh, Dawson? That's right, OAM tomorrow. 12.55 p.m. Live from Lake Orange Field, Field House for the homecoming festivities tomorrow. Must-see episode. I'll be at the desk alongside Brian Donahue. Dawson, you'll be on sports. Sounds there's going to be a tackle inbound, second down. Clock will continue to run. Sounds like a good time to me, Mr. It's going to be a fun one from the Field House. That's right, homecoming festivities come to an end tomorrow at school, but yet we do have the dance on dance, Saturday. Dance, the game, pictures. Yeah, and we, our very own Lyndon Potter is going to be doing the homecoming PA pep, pep assembly. Announcing. Yeah, he's going to be do a really nice job at that. Uh, the next Kobe Manzo there. Kobe did a great job doing that for two years. Mr. Shramick did it for a while. And let's see if the seniors can pull this one off, which they might. This is going to be a handoff. Rolls out left. That's going to bring up a third down, down to about the 20-yard line. The clock is within two minutes, so it'll stop with MHSA normal rules. It'll continue to run. No, they are stopping clock. Juniors call timeout. DVD copies can be purchased by calling ONTV at 248-393-1060. For only $10, you can get a copy of not only this game, but any game or program in our broadcast vault. That's DVD copies at 248-393-1060. Okay, Dawson, I got a question for you. You could get a DVD copy of any game within the lap, probably within our high school career, which one are you going with? That's a good question, Derek. Um, if I had to get a DVD with my favorite Dragon game, I would have to say, I would have to say the Lake Orion contest against West Bloomfield sophomore year, Donovan Edwards running back for West Bloomfield, currently playing at Michigan. One where it went to like three, five now, overtimes. Now, but yeah. That's going to be a toss in there, picked off. Now, get this. That game got canceled. Friday night, I Friday remember night, that. Friday night, and they moved that. it to Saturday. Saturday. And Edwards they, had like five rushing touchdowns that game. Yeah, if they, if they would have. If they would have finished it on Friday, I think Lake the Lake would have won. Would have won. But since they canceled it, that gave West Bloomfield momentum. We've talked about how important momentum is tonight. That's right, as we are sitting right on the one minute mark here and getting ready to wind this game down. They called that last pass incomplete. Fourth down, you're the juniors here, you gotta get it. If not, the game is over. See what they dial up on fourth and three. High snap. It's going to be the end around. Flag is down. Two flags are down. As she is down to the 11 yard line. It's going to be a first down, though. Flag on the field. Going back to our conversation earlier, you know what game I would say? Home well, playoff game sophomore year against Stony Creek. Go well, that was had a, that 70 something yard touchdown run. That was That's a, the game I would go with. I think that one finished out 28 27, Lake Warren. That was a close one. Then that, they was, went, that was a fun game. Then they traveled to Grand Blank to try and knock off the Bobcats, and Kyler Carson got hurt in the second quarter, yep. and the Grand Blank just 
sends us home, but. It's gonna be a holding penalty on the offense, bring up fourth down, and a uh, little bit longer. As the clock winds down. They might not even, they're gonna snap it probably one more time, and that'll be about game. Another game I would go with. Oh, oh, oh almost a home run there. Dropped. Incomplete, and it looks like the seniors will walk away with the W tonight. Going to have the kneel, 22 and a half seconds left. We're going back to our conversation earlier. Another game going into Clarkston, whomping on the Wolves. If that one's in the vaults, I'd go with that one. Southfield a t at home that year, beating them up. We had a good football team that year. Blaze Lauer, Kobe Manzo, Cade Manzo. That's right, all those. Miss, miss those players. Dragons legends. And it looks like they're just gonna let the clock Ryan down and the seniors, be, after being down 19 to six, come back and win 34-19. And that will cap off the Powder Puff game this year. As they try to get one more play out before time expires. There it is. End the round. Just going to throw it downfield. All or nothing play. Just over through the receiver. And as the clock takes zero, that will be the game. Cameras, if we could get the seniors storming the field. There we go. Big 34-19 to 19 win tonight. Dawson, give us your final thoughts. Yeah, seniors didn't let the them being down early affect them you know they stormed back and had three straight possessions where they marched it in the end zone and there we go senior victory 2021 as both teams will take the field and high five remember at the day at the end of the day we're all dragons all of us won tonight and yeah that's all i about got to say tonight's telecast is a copyrighted presentation of ONTV and Dragon Broadcasting. I'm alongside my partner, Mr. Big D Steele, also known as Derek Steele. I'm I, my, myself, Mr. Dawson Wolf here. Co Powder Puff is seniors three years in a row, maybe four years in a row next we'll year. We'll have to wait and see. We won't be here to tell you that story next year, but from all of us here at Lake Orion High School, have a good night, folks. We'll see you back here tomorrow for varsity football against Birmingham Seahawks.